is um, on the, it's all the um, black and white work, and it's a, it's an oil painting, but it's uh, monochromatic, and there's a lot of reasons why I chose um, this medium. One of them is because um, I really like to concentrate on my drawing sometime without color, because I get to work on, you know, like, I can, I can work on my volumes without, um, you know, without color, which makes, usually makes a difference. Okay, so I'll, I'll, um, I'll talk about the nuthatch. Um, this is one of my favorite little birds. And I love, I love to render this in black and white because even though he has a little bit of blue on him, I think what's exciting to me about him is the contrast of his, his, his white breast and par partially white head and then he has black on the top of his head and, and, and the details in his, um, his feathers. Um, I think in this medium I get, to, I get to really explore a lot of the different textures on the one bird. So um, that's the nut hatch, and um, I guess I, I don't know if I want to draw attention to um, I'll draw attention to to the, this this great gray owl, and um, again I feel like I I like to render this 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 critter in, in black and white because the color really isn't that important to to understanding and and um, appreciating this, um, this beautiful bird. And it, they're, they're, they're very rare and they're not in this area, but um, I got to meet this bird at the Lindsay Museum in Walnut Creek. And um, it's, it's, her name is Shadow. And she just made a big impression on me. So she let me photograph her and now she gets to be in the show. So, and I do, I, and, and, I have a relationship with some of these animals. I do. Um, this little, this little um, a, a quail. I see this little quail in, in the creek near me, and he's a male, and he um, he's the sentinel. He's the one who watches out for all all the other quail in his cubby. And this cat is, is a feral cat that we used to see um, on our property. Just they kind of come and go, but he was very engaging. And um, we we often see we often see um, turkeys in the creek. And this one left me a feather. And of course, the um, the egrets are in the creek, and and so are the uh, the blue heron. And and these are all animals that I I see very often where I live in Casadero. Hi, my name is Colette Code and I'm here for the month of September with Chris Rosano uh, showing our work. We were quite surprised when we went to put up the show how we complimented so our ideas um, without ever uh, collaborating on it. So of course um, we live by the sea so we can't um, have a show without some sea things. So this is Surf's Up, and this is called In the Wind. These are sort of architectural pieces that sit on glass stands. You'll find as we go through this that most of my stands are metal. Um, so we have our, our nautical themes here together. This is called a bubble fish. It actually, the glass did not fuse all the way and it creates a bubble around the fish which kind of showcases the, the beauty of the fish. This is kind of a part of a series that I have been doing. I call this Ipanema. If you remember the song, the girl from Ipanema, she was tall. Oh, yeah. Now here's where it gets interesting with Chris and I. She does ravens. And I happen to have a raven. I too think that they are the smartest birds around and I love observing how they work as a team. So I wanted to capture that with the dichro and the, um, and the uh, transparent glass. 
We also complimented each other with the owls, um, although her owl is uh, much bigger and more detailed, but mine uh, sits here and um, looks like it is a pretty wise old guy. Here's another of the uh, tall series that I'm doing. This one is called Rise Up. Then in continuing on, another architectural piece is um, called Taking Flight. It kind of looks like um, gull wings, perhaps, going. This one, I actually broke the gray glass in order to make this, and I named it You Crack Me Up which kind of cracks me up when I think about it. <laughs> uh, Chris has butterflies, and I have um, a small butterfly here to um, complement this. As I say, nothing was planned. I also have uh, a few pieces here. Um, it's the end of the summer, but I think this will keep us in the summer mood all along. These are two um, different uh, types of plates and a bowl, um, but they have a similar nautical theme to them as well. So with this one called Swimming for Your Life, um, I have two koi swimming quite rapidly around a circle. I love uh, parrots and this one is, um, I think, uh, sitting pretty would be the, a good name for it. And again, another large uh, plate and a smaller one. This is called Dinner at the Beach. You can see the sand here, some shells, and then, and then the sea. And they um, match each other. Oh.